so hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel so in this tutorial video we are gonna learn about how to drag and drop images in a box so let's move forward to our code let's create a style here and then let's write our let's create hashtag a then let's write our width then height then padding then border one pixel solid black let's write down here 10 pixel then here 350 or 450 whichever you want then here 500 pixel then here 350 pixel then save i give them a style a so let's create a here our which we give the id here we give id a for our border okay so let's give the division here and let's write down h1 tag so let's write down here drag the image let's write down let's take this as an example of the webitec image drag the webitec image into the rectangle okay then here let's write down our let's take as a division id we give a here we are gonna use a then we gonna write let's just don't write here right now let's just close it okay and yeah let's close it here right now and give them br deck then let's add our image image id equals to we are going to give this as a b okay now then our src source path as you can see i have p here webdeck.png so i give them a source path here then let's write down width let's give them 450 and height let's give them 350 okay so this is a basic which we write let's see our output as you can see that here this is our rectangle here as, as you can see this is our h1 tag drag the baby tag image into the rectangle if you want to drag as you can see we cannot drag that here that's why we are gonna write our code so this is our basic which we need to do now let's move forward to our drag and drop function okay so drag and drop let's start with our drag on drag start and set data okay so now for that we need to write down here in our script tag so let's write here script tag then let's write function allow to drop and we are gonna give them as a c name okay then let's create let's just cut this you need to write this here then also you need to write this in hair section okay this is our script you need to write in hair section this is my mistake so let's write it As you can see, let's clear this. Let's write once again allow drop and I give them C name or ID class. 
now let's write down esc dot prevent default so why i write this prevent dot default because if you want to drop your uh, data that's why we write here prevent default okay so the where to drop uh, and drag over data can be dropped okay as you can see let's see output so you can easily understand that is why as you can see i dragged this and drop here the data so that is why we write our prevent default now let's move forward to our function drag okay now let's just write down here function drag we give them c as upper class name and let's write down c dot data transfer okay data transfer dot set data then text and c dot target dot id so this is our as you can see so let's first learn our this tag okay so the data transfer as you can see i write down here data transfer so the data transfer set data is a method to set the data type and the value of the targeted data target data as you can see as you can see these tags is called our data type and is the id of the draggable element is drag as you can see this is our targeted and this is our data type is our text okay so now let's move forward to uh, as you can see we use here data transfer dash sort data so when the target data is drop a drop event is occurred that's why we use here as you can see when we drop here then data drop event will be accused that's why we use here our data transfer dot say data and this is our data type text okay so now let's move forward to write down function drop we are going to write c then which we write our as you can see in allow drop we write c dot prevent default prevent default we are going to write here then semicolon then our variable data okay so tag on drag start and set data okay so the on drag start attribute let's write down our here c dot data transfer dot get data d capital in data then our data value data type means text we write here as you can see then semicolon then c dot our target dot append child child is c capital okay now let's write here document dot get element by id our data so this is our script okay our script is done here as you can see we use on drag okay we are going to use in on drag in our uh, here but let's learn our basic on drag start and set data okay as you can see we use set data as you can see so on drag start attribute calls a function tag event as you can see this is our tag event we write here okay so let's first write then let's learn how is what okay so let's write down here in division section on drop 
equals to top event we are going to write like this then on drag over then let's write down allow top event because our class is c that's why you need to write down here event then save let's see our output as you can see it's working as you can see there's a bit in arrow you can see that let's zoom it now let's as you can see there's an arrow and plus sign border which didn't move because we didn't write our let's in our image section we didn't write any drag and drop option here that's why so let's write down here drag over draggable you can also draggable equals to true okay then so that make image draggable as you can see yeah as you can see is make image draggable if you write here false let's see if you write here false then is not going to be draggable here as you can see it didn't move okay so that is why we need to write down here to do so image can be draggable now let's move forward to here also we need to add our drag <coughs> sorry drag start okay you need to write down here on drag start Let's write down one again on drag. Yeah, on drag start. Then let's write down drag event. Then save. Let's see our output. As you can see, our image is move now. If you want to change the size here, you can also do that. Let's write down here 500. Then save. So that is how it work. As you can see, I write down here on drag over and our on drag start. So let's learn our basic theory about it. So on drag start attribute calls a function. As you can see, our function drag event we use. So drag event that specifies what data to be dragged. As you can see, if we write here in another image, then it's gonna move our drag another image. That's why it's specifies here then this is our on deck image okay that is how it all works let's do it one again yeah so that is how it works so if you have any query write down in comment section for the source code also write down your email id in comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe bye